So Alex has settled into his second week of the Vendée now, and that means that um, getting away from the sort of tumultuous weather of the start, he's now settled into the trade winds. So what this means is that there's been a lot more consistent conditions for him. It also means that the boat's consistently going fast. So it'll be very wet on deck, um, pretty windy most of the time, like 20 knots. So not not like a gale, like what they had at the start, but um, now more reaching and downwind. So the boat's fast, he's got bigger sails up, and just kind of constantly, constantly tweaking everything um, becomes a little bit more of a drag race uh, between him and the other boats. And when you're in those conditions, um, one of the constant challenges for the guys is, you know, there's water everywhere, you're getting soaked if you were on deck. So as a way of being able to adjust the sails and set up the boat most efficiently, but also protect yourself so that you're not tired and you're not wet and you're in a good, good physical and mental state, um, Alex is going to be using the cameras quite a lot on the boat at this point. The technology for the cameras that we uh, installed on Hugo Boss is, is really a camera network. It's it's a network of nine cameras in total, uh, most of them outside on the deck, uh, port side, starboard side, the back uh, towards the rudder, um, as well as uh, cameras also on the inside. And what we've really developed and installed on, on the boat for Alex and for the fans, I should say, is, is this setup of cameras a video management system so that Alex can look at all the cameras, he can select a camera, he can control the cameras, he can pan, zoom, tilt any of the cameras uh, as he wishes from any of his control devices, his phone or his tablet or his onboard PC. Um, and we have developed a storage system uh, and integrated that on the on the boat as well. So Alex can record any video from any of the cameras that he would like and look at that later or upload it for um, for fan experience on, on the hub. So the camera system on board Hugo Boss gets used for a variety of purposes. Um, you use it to look at the sails, be able to adjust the sails at, at all times. Um, so at points where you physically couldn't look if you stuck your head up on deck because there's too much spray and too much water, um, you're still able to adjust the sails efficiently all the time. So you can do that during the day or at night. Um, we have an array of thermal, optical, and infrared cameras. And all those cameras, aside from the performance side of setting up the boat, you're also using them for collision avoidance. So you're able to look off quite a ways into the distance, see if a ship is there, what direction it's going, get a bit more detail about it. And then also from a bit more of like a safety and maintenance standpoint, it allows you to very regularly look around the boat. Um, and these things allow Alex to keep on top of the boat, make sure everything stays safe, um, and also be able to stay protected and, and comfortable. Working on the cameras was, was really one of the very, very first projects that we decided to work on together with, with Alex and the Alex Thompson Racing team. It's very clear that Alex would need and would like to have better visibility, better understanding, better surround view of, of the boat. Um, and especially with the new design of the Hugo Boss boat and the in completely enclosed cockpit, it's paramount that he has more visibility of what's going on outside. As soon as we started designing this boat, we knew that we were going to need cameras to see what was going on outside, make it safer and easier to operate for Alex. And we started to play around with this a little bit on our previous boat. Um, we actually had one little kind of low quality bullet cam at the top of the mast at one stage. And we realized that this was something that we, we needed a bit of help with. So we approached the teams at Bell Labs um, and uh, working with some of the folks there that have a lot of experience in this area with not just choosing the cameras, but also um, how do you set them up? What sort of VMS do you use? You know, a lot of the implementation of the system. Yeah, the, the main challenge for this camera system is really the, the environment. These cameras are exposed to all kinds of weather, salt water, wind, waves, for 70 days. So we started to implement some things during the build of the new boat, of the current Hugo Boss on our old boat, testing different hardware, seeing how it survived on board, um, seeing what kind of imagery you had, uh, testing white light versus infrared light for seeing at night. By the time we started uh, launching this boat, the current boat, we, um, we already had an array of cameras on board that were functioning really, really well. And, um, and then with further insight from, from both sides, from our experience with that first generation and on the technical side from Bell Labs on how we, you know, how we improve the hardware, how we improve the video management system um, in our second year with this boat, it's, it's just gone to a whole nother level. 
the absolute amazing uh, aspect of the cameras is also that we can share with fans uh, on shore what's been going on uh, with Alex. And the cameras really provide unique insight into life on the boat, uh, inside the cockpit. I think there's a lot of great videos that Alex has recorded already during the first week of the race from inside the cockpit. We can really see him operate the boat um, and his living quarters inside the boat, but also spectacular views from outside. Uh, the 360 view from up uh, up the mast is just fabulous to see and provides insights that I think uh, fans have never seen before uh, during the Vendée Globe or any of the sailing races. And uh, we look very much forward to seeing the shots from the Southern Ocean that Alex can record on the cameras.